What's going on everyone? I hope everyone's having an amazing day. Thank you guys for tuning back in. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. If you guys haven't subscribed, please make sure you do so. Um, hit that like button, it really, really helps out. So um, yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, as a lot of you know or may not know, I own my own dealership and that got me thinking, the SEMA show is right around the corner and could I get in through the dealership actually attending the SEMA show? Um, I know they have a show that's to the public that anybody could attend, but I'm talking about actually attending the SEMA show. Um, and I did some research and it's actually not that hard to get in as long as you got, of course, the proper documentation, but we're gonna get more in depth uh, in that and I'm gonna give you a couple ways that you guys can get into the SEMA show if you wanted to. And it's a lot easier than you guys think, so stick around for that. Um, but first, I gotta wipe down a couple of my cars. Actually, let's go outside. I live here in Florida and it has been raining quite a bit today, but it looks like the rain has stopped for the day. So I'm gonna wipe down my cars and just get them looking right again. We are looking bare right now. Thankfully, um, we've sold a few cars this week, so we are gonna have to be hitting the auction really hard um, the next few days. Which I'm actually gonna be taking you guys with me um, to auction, so you guys are gonna get an inside look on what it's like uh, to attend a dealer's auction. So that's gonna, you guys are gonna love that. Uh, auctions are so interesting. Um, I'm not gonna spoil it, I'm not gonna say anymore, but I am gonna be taking you guys in with me uh, to the auction. So, let me wipe these cars down and uh, I'll get back with you guys. All right guys, so I just logged onto my computer. Uh, we're on the SEMA website. And if you wanted to get into the SEMA show, um, there's really two ways that you can get in, or at least two major ways that you can get in. So, first one is a media pass. So with the media pass, um, if you have a YouTube channel, uh, Instagram or Facebook page uh, where you create videos or content um, in the automotive industry, now that's, that's the thing, um, your content has to be automotive. You know, you can't have a YouTube channel with 5 million subs uh, subscribers and it be on knitting. You know, it, it has to be in the automotive industry. They don't care how many subscribers you might have. If it's not in the automotive um, industry, you aren't, you aren't gonna get in. So, we'll do this again. Uh, if you go to media and then uh, media registration, you can click on attendee and then register. And here you can register um, with that, one of those platforms. So it does say here, now here it tells you exactly what they'll look for as far as um, a, verifying your channel, um, your Instagram, your, your Facebook, whatever um, means of, of media you're using, whether you're a blogger, whatever the case may be. And again, it has to be automotive, but um, here it says verify that the company is an editorial media body that covers the SEMA industry, its members, or its products. Verify that the applicant is associated with the company. So here when it says that the company is an editorial media, that body that covers the SEMA industry, they mean anything automotive. The SEMA show is 100% an automotive um, show. It's the biggest uh, show, from what I understand, in the country. So as long as, again, you're in the automotive industry, um, you can get in. And I, I did some research and I watched some um, YouTube videos on YouTubers that got in with a media pass. And a couple YouTubers only had like a thousand subscribers. Um, I'm not even there yet, but they were able to get into the SEMA show with that little uh, bit of, um, of subscribers. Um, he said that the verifying process isn't really that strenuous as long as you can verify and prove that you're the owner of that channel um, or owner of whatever you know page facebook youtube or blogging site that you're, you're you know you're posting on as long as you can prove you're the owner of that you can um that you can verify it you can get a media pass which i think it's pretty cool because you don't have to be a huge youtuber a huge blogger, have a huge Instagram page or Facebook page 
um, and I'm just using those as examples, to get into SEMA. Um, us little guys can get in as well. And I did read on here that if you're going to be recording, you do have to get a video permit, which um, it says you do that when you register for, for SEMA. You, you know, you'll go in there and say that um, you will be creating video content. But as far as the media side, you know, if you're a YouTuber, um, Instagram, blogger, Facebook, as long as you can prove that you own that page, site, you know, YouTube channel, and that it is in the automotive industry, you are, you are in. Um, another way that you can get in is if you own a business that's in the automotive industry. Um, and I'll use myself as an example. I own a used car dealership. I'm assuming that I, I would be able to get in um, registering through the dealership name, proving that I am in the automotive industry. Um, I'm pretty sure I can get in. I could say that, you know, I'm looking to, you know, the cars that I sell, my trucks or whatever, I want to, you know, make them look more off roadish So I'm looking for products to potentially use on the cars that I have at my lot. I'm pretty sure I can get in that way. And again, all I would have to do is prove that I own the dealership um, or that I'm an employee of the dealership and the person that um, owns the dealership from what I've read and the way I understand it has to be there as well if I'm not the owner, if you're not the owner. So being that I'm the owner of the dealership, all I would have to do is you know send the proper paperwork, documentation in, um, dealer's license, et cetera, et cetera, and I'm in. So seems pretty easy, straightforward, as long as you got the proper documentation to prove that you are in the automotive industry um, and that you're not just going there with a channel, again, on knitting and you're just trying to get in. Um, being that it is a show that covers the automotive industry. So um, if you register after October um, 12th, it's 90 bucks to get in. Um, I don't think that's bad. Now you do got to cover your own traveling and all that. I live in Florida, so I would need a flight hotel and all that. So, you know, it, it would be an expensive trip. Uh, unfortunately, this year I cannot make it, but I'm really, really hoping that next year I can. Um, I already know I have the means or the way to get in. So that part I'm not worried about. It's just freeing my time and, and just uh, getting my schedule right. But guys, those are two ways that you can get into uh, the SEMA show pretty easily again as long as you got the proper documentation so i hope this helped i know it's not super informative or intensely in depth but it really isn't that complicated again as long as you got your proper documentation i know i'm repeating myself a lot but it's because that's from what i read really all you need and from some of the videos that i saw uh, the people that did get in that had you know a, a very small following all they had to do is prove that their channel was theirs um, and they got in. So pretty cool. Um, again, I'm not going to uh, this year, but next year I'm, I'm proclaiming I'm going to be there. Uh, that's always been a dream of mine. I, I'm a big car guy, big automotive guy. And um, next year I'm definitely going to make it a point to be at SEMA. So. I hope you guys enjoy the content. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you find it helpful. Um, if you have any comments, please put it down below. If I said anything incorrectly, or if you've been to SEMA and, and you have other ways that someone could get in, um, please put it in the comments. But I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, the SEMA website has everything you need to get registered to get in. If you don't have any credentials to get in, to SEMA, you can always go and watch. They have a part of SEMA that's to the public. So anything that's to the public, you don't need any credentials to go and see. Um, but as far as the actual SEMA show, you need do need credentials to um, get in and attend. But I hope you guys found this informative. I know it's not super in depth, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys have ever been to SEMA or you have other ways that can you can get in um, or just more information, please put it in the comments. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, don't forget, be great. I'll catch you guys on the next one.